the hell have we brought today well in approximately 300 seconds of a milliseconds you'll find out but yeah we picked up a couple of bags full of a nice stock to list spent 48 pound on everything that you're going to see in three two one Boom. so we are back and just the power of editing i told you you'd see the haul in in three seconds but before we do get in the haul please do smash that like button i am going to share you an absolute bolo of a brand so please please bear with me so let's crack on with the haul and you know what we're going to start off with the bolo brand it is a mirror <laughs> but it's ikea ikea believe it or not has a serious serious following on ebay this is the cassie b this believe it or not i played a whopping four pound and this should easily be roughly 45 to 50 quid the reason why ikea i think is so followed after it's two reasons one not every single place in the country lives near a ikea ikea um, you know normally it would built up areas and secondly most of the ikea stuff actually gets discontinued so once you've you know someone's probably broke this and want to replace it they're going to go to ebay so this is actually discontinued and that is why i can charge at least 45 pound for a uh, a mirrored cabinet from ikea we then move on to a polaroid camera it is eight pound it was in that glass cabinet you know that that's a glass cabinet normally they have really expensive stuff this is a polaroid 636 there is some film in here it has been tested and it does fully work i put in the argos number into argos and these were selling for about a hundred pound new Looking at recent solds, I think I can be able to get about 30 to 32 pounds. It has some film as well, some extra film, which is nice. Paid eight, so eight into 30, not too shibby shabby at all. Shibby shabby, that's a new one. We then pick up this Buffalo wireless adapter, 54 megabits per second, Wi Fi certified, sort of like a USB bus thing. Air Station G59. It's a whopping one pound and 95 anything 
wireless computer box, brand new and sealed, I'm always going to pick up, especially if it's £1.95p. There has got to be a minimum of £25 back from that, surely. Need to do a bit more research. I'll leave a screenshot around here somewhere of a recent sold or a recent anything that I can find on anything, but flipping out. What? It's like Windows XP 2000, me and Windows 98. So it's not exactly high end, as in it's not current. So it's new, old stock, which is uh, always a bonus. I took a punt on this one, boys and girls, so don't laugh at me too much. But this is a Star Wars 1998 Hasbro Lucasfilms Queen Amidala collection piece. Brand new and sealed Star Wars Episode 1. Paid a whopping £5. I thought it would have a bit more resale value. However, I didn't check it in the shop. I just picked it up and now I kind of wish I did because it's actually only worth about £20. So my money is safe, but 5 into 20 isn't the best flip of today or of, of anything really. But we'll take it. 5 into 20 is better than nothing. We then picked up this beautiful Levi's hoodie. It's nice sort of blue navy with a nice red printed Levi logo. My size as well. So I will probably end up keeping this. It's in really, really, really nice condition. Absolutely stunning condition. Do you know when you buy a brand new jumper and like the folds are still like, like the crease line of the fold is still there? Yeah, I think this has probably been worn like once if, if that. It's in absolutely beautiful condition. Probably keep it myself. But if I was to resell it, you're probably looking at about 20 to 25 pound, especially on Depop. We then picked up these beautiful white and green Nike Tiempos. Tiempos are very highly collectible, especially in the white and green colorway. Absolutely stunning condition. Paid a whopping £4.75p and I should be looking at a comfortable £27 to £30, especially with the condition and the colourway. Nice white with the black tick and the green on the heels. Green studs, green moulded studs. Really nice condition. Plenty of, plenty of tread left. We then picked up these brand new Tentex walking boots. The brand is, in fact, I think it's like Adventure Ridge. These are brand new in its packaging. It's not even been taken out. Don't normally pick up too many walking boots. However, I've seen a lot of resellers, one in particular that sells flipping walking boots all the time. And uh, it's my time now. Size 10 as well. I've seen a size six sell brand new for 30. So the fact it's a men's size, size 10, brown and black colorway, I'm going to be pushing that £40 mark, I think. I think that's pretty, pretty reasonable considering a size 6 went for 30 I think with the bag, the brand new, the size 10, 10 Tex, which is their version of Gore-Tex, I think £40 is pretty achievable. We then picked up these beautiful Adi Zero RC2s. These are running trainers, sort of light strike, really nice condition, plenty of tread. This little mark here, these marks on the stripes are actually supposed to be there. That is actually the design. So don't think they are where it is just absolutely beautiful design. Nice little side tongue as well. Nice hit on the Adidas tongue. It's, it's, they're beautiful, they're absolutely stunning. Really nice size as well. UK size 10, beautiful, beautiful condition. Should be looking at a comfortable 30 pound. And I think I paid six. Yeah, I paid six whole Squidaroonies. I should be looking at a comfortable £30 back. These are probably the worst item we pick up today, and they're a decent little brand, to be fair. These are Gant. I say the worst item, I mean like the worst monetary value item. These are nice size 36, I think. Let me just double, double, double check. 36 waist and 34 leg. Really nice beige, thick chinos. Gant isn't a brand that I normally pick up. However, these were a whopping... These were on offer. These were half price. These were, I don't know if you're gonna see that, one pound and 75p. One pound and 75p for a Gantt pair of trousers. I should be looking at a comfortable 17 to 20 pound back from these. And the penultimate pair of items, which is these beautiful pair of Footjoy Aqualites golf shoes. Spiked, so they're not banned. 
<laughs> can't believe I sold band flipping golf shoes, but these are a size at UK six. So the women's size, nice condition, beautiful leather, plenty and plenty of tread left. Absolutely stunning condition. Paid three pound and I should be looking at a comfortable, absolutely bare minimum of 20 pound. Beautiful condition, like I've said. Footjoy is a very good golfing brand. If you get £20 for a size 6 pair of golf shoes, then you know the brand is pretty strong. So definitely do keep an eye out on the brand. Footjoy logo can be seen right now. And yeah, large letter. Large letter for a pair of flipping golf shoes. <laughs> La small parcel, that's what I meant to say. Small parcel, under 750 grams, £2.53 to post. Happy days. And the last item, but certainly not the least, is these beautiful pair of Loke Lifestyles. Lokes are definitely a brand that you've heard on this channel before. I think I pick up a pair of Lokes every single charity shop run. These owe me a whopping five pound. These are a UK size eight G. G stands for like the fit, like a wide fit or a thin fit or a skinny fit or a wide fit or a fins fit, you get what you get the gist. It means the fit if it's for big people with big feet, sort of wide feet, or just normal size. I think the G is just normal, so this is a size eight normal, which is good because size eight is a reasonable size. So, genuine Macassian, Macassian, we'll go with that. Genuine Macassian, <laughs> nice little sort of dark brown hit here. Nice brown suede, really nice condition, plenty of tread, paid five. It's an easy boys, easy boys and girls, 35, maybe even pushing that 40 pound mark. And there we have it. That's today's haul. What a charity shop haul. Let me know in the comment section below what your favorite pickup of the day is. Mine is probably the Ikea. Please guys, if you do take anything away from this video, this, this year, please do make sure you research all your Ikea bits and pieces that you find in the car boots, charity shops, wherever you go, because some Ikea stuff is worth a lot of money, especially the teddy bears as well. Look at anything Ikea, please, please, please. Ikea is a brand, is today's bolo brand of the year. Yeah, the year. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. You guys have been awesome. I've been awesome. You guys have been awesomer. Avon, let's go. Don't know where that comes. See you tomorrow. No, see you. You get it. I'll see you soon. Bye.